we're on uh, the area where we're grazing, been grazing for the summer. Worldwide, of course, there's been a, a major decrease in the amount of wool, and I believe the demand is, is, has increased. And hopefully the, the national wool growers and the Montana wool growers were all looking to maybe see an increase in numbers sheep-wise in the United States now. We've been running Ramble A sheep for 100 years, and there's always been a pretty good demand for the 24, 25, 26 wolves, but now you know, we've seen more interest in a finer, the 20s, more material and clothing coming out of that line that, that seems to be an added value and is in our organization seems to to uh, show producers that there is a better ability to take care of your wool you know and not just be a nuisance one time a year to get the wool off that there's actually a profit to be gained if you can take care of your animals and take care of that wool during that shearing time there's several avenues you can take with sheep that allow you to to be a more profitable operation You know, I met the LaFelts some years ago. I came to Montana on, a, on basically a, a mission to, to look at, the, uh, at a clip that had a great reputation. Uh, a lot of tradition in the family, a lot of heritage. It's a heritage of, of pride in the production, care for the land that the animals run on, uh, sound genetics, sound management, and as an observer, I see the LaFelts and the way they manage the sheep. Uh, for them, it's, it's, a, it's, it's twofold. Number one, it's a way to care for, they do contract grazing. And uh, leafy spurge is a weed specifically in that, as an example, that is very invasive. It's hard to control. You can, you can try and control the chemicals, you can do a lot of things. But the truth is, very difficult. And so they, they, have, they have really pioneered and developed the idea that you can graze these herds of sheep, and they tip, they've grazed ewes and lambs together, and, and they've done a really good job. There's management required. Uh, timing and it, it, it's just a great story and a great opportunity for the LaFelts who depend on on the access to those weeds for forage for their sheep uh, as the lambs grow in the green pastures. <laughs>